How you doing folks? We're here in Belly Duff this evening with Mike Fitzmaurice. Um, Mike is here with his uh, wrong 1958 Forks and Dexter and his 1941 Reaper and Binder, a McCormick Reaper and Binder. Um, I can be telling you a bit of the history of the Reaper and Binder as we go, but Mike is here, Dinny is with him, Dinny is on the pilot seat, and um, they're coming down again against me here, so we're going to make a bit of a video. We have the drone, we're going to put up the drone the whole lot, and uh, in case I forget, if you want to be in with a chance to win this, give a like, give a subscribe. We're going to give that away when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And we're going to give away something similar at 3,000 subscribers. And um, that's courtesy of World of Wonder in Tralee. So, like I said, give a like, give a subscribe, and um, give it a thumbs up. And here's the Mike Fitzmaurice, Dini, and their um, 1941 uh, Reaper and Binder. Period. You can see all the oats there in the background. They're moving well. You can see there the nutter. Got not her again invented by Cyrus Baxter, a jeweler from Mississippi. And of course McCormick invented the, the Reaper, the first beat Reaper. And of course an absolutely fantastic invention. Unbelievable. How you doing guys? We're here this evening or this morning in Belly Duff in North Kerry with a good friend of mine, Mike Fitzmaurice. You might see Mike just coming up there with his Reaper and Binder. Now I'm not exactly sure, sure what year the Reaper and Binder is, but I can tell you the Dexter is about 1958. Um, we're going to swing around the camera and we'll get a look at Mike and Dinny as they're um, continuing their, their good work. What a fantastic machine that would have been, lads. Let's see the knocker there. That was ground driven there by the big wheel there inside by the blue tub. Come up then into the knocker and out across in two canvases. Um, Bringing it up then across into the natter. We'll go down here and we'll get him coming up the other side as well after. Of course, the history of the, the Reaper and Binder, it goes way back. Um, a man by the name of Patrick Bell, he actually invented the cutting bar. He was actually, he was Reverend Patrick Bell. He was actually, he was in England, he invented the cutting bar and then Cyrus McCormack invented the first kind of the reaper we call it pulled by horses and then it went on from there to a, a Cyrus Baxter or Christopher Baxter I think it was in 1872 he invented the knotter and they combined the knotter then and the reaper the reaper and binder like what an absolute sight that must have been in the farms in, in like going back to 1872 you have to remember right up until that point all they would have had was a sickle which is a small round knife and after that they would have had the side um, which in itself was a great invention, but this would have been like, where he's gonna come up here now, like it would have taken one, probably one man, probably a good hour to cut with a side, what he's gonna cut in probably 30 seconds. 
but um, it was just a fantastic, a fantastic thing. And of course, well, you see the sheaves coming out the side there. You see, coming out from your from Christopher Baxter's knotter. And of course, the same knotter is still in use more or less today in the modern small square balers. See the big wheel there in the middle driving it, ground driven, like I said. And then, of course, the first fishing machine was actually invented in 1786 in Scotland by a man, a Scottish man by the name of Andrew Mickle. And he was he was part of the first threshing machine that was ever that was ever invented. Of course, like I said, it must have been an absolutely fantastic sight to see. And like you can see here, oh, the, the the reaper would have been there. The mechanical reaper would have been there beforehand. Um, but like I said, in 1872. Uh, Chris Baxter. Chris Baxter was actually he was actually um, a jeweler in I think, I think he was born in Mississippi, and he came up with the idea of the binder, which is the binder which ties the the grain together and ties the sheaves together. So he came up with the idea of the binder, and um, Dustin from 1872 you onwards you had the reaper and binder. Now these sheaves are going to a different plan, but these sheaves would have been like going back 50, 60 years ago, or maybe 100 years ago, or back to 1872, they would have been cut. This, this stuff is super ripe. This is very, very ripe. You can see there's a, there's a, um, a giant's combine over there on the far, in the far side. But this would have been, it would have been cut, going back 100 years ago, it would have been cut a bit earlier on. It wouldn't have been cut this ripe. Um, because it's been cut this ripe, it will lose a percentage of the heads of the oats. Now, some of these oats that you're going to see here were, are probably were used in the 25th of September with Brendan Ferris, um, threshing cancer. So hopefully I have it up. If I don't have it up, I will have it up shortly. We have a good few videos made and in the making. So do you know what? It'll be perfect. It'll be grand. Um, so that's the history of the reaper and binder. Like I said, just to go over it again, uh, Patrick Bell invented the cutting bar in 1826. Cyrus McCormick invented the first reaper, which was a horse pulled, more or less horse pulled machine that didn't cut him. And Cyrus Baxter invented the first uh, knotter. And the first Christian machine was Andrew Mickle, a Scottish man. Uh, just imagine, like, just imagine what a sight this would have been. Like, you're going from that, which is a side, to this. What a fantastic sight that would have been. Go back in the, the early part of the last century. You'll see there the blue tub in the back, the blue tub is a card. And we'll give a look here at one of them. This is the, you can see the card there, like. If we can find the knot. There is the knot. The knot is gone in high, lads. That's the knot. Like, what a machine to be able to tie that knot. Like, it would have been some, Fantastic invention altogether, like. And of course, really and truthfully, the cutting bar that's on that reaper and binder is possibly no different 
from the cutting bar that's on the new Dites combine that's over on the other side of the field. And how it works is you can see the big wheel turning there in the air, bringing in the oats, and it brings it up in a canvas, and the canvases are running opposite to each other, and they squeeze the oats together and bring them up along, and it comes down the, down the far side into into the uh, the knotter, which was invented by Chris Baxter. Like I said, Chris Baxter was a jeweler, and he came up with the knotter, and then they put the knotter together with the reaper and they came up with the reaper and binder they're coming here again now guys As you can see it there, she's throwing off the sheaves of course the sheaves then would have been taken and stored in the shed or stored in a, a reek or a stook in the field you can see them there on the far side there's some people over there stooking them and um, you would have waited in for the man to come with the trashing machine and um, when he would come with the trashing machine then you would have had a team of men with you and the team of men would have feel, fed all them stoops into the trasher of course all the bits of card would have to be cut and um, into the trasher would trash them out and um, the rest is history But just to think, and I know I've said this about four times, but just to think, imagine the invention that this would have been back in 1872. Like this would have been just unbelievable. And of course, originally, of course, 1872 would have been pulled by horses. Absolutely pulled by horses all day long. Possibly a team of two horses. And of course you would not get next to near done with the, the two horses as you would with the tractor. Just, it would have been just unbelievable. It would have been, do you know what? It's possibly, it would have been looked at something kind of alien. Something fierce, unusual, something fierce, different, something just from out of this world. I don't know how you'd compare any modern day inventions to that in, in the likes of farming and farming technology. It was like, Okay, the tractor and the combine and all that, they've been invented. This was the reaper and binder was probably the very, very early combine-like. And so, if he comes up here now, we'll get a we'll get a view in at the, the back. Now they're gonna finish a corner below. While they're finishing the corner below, we'll give a look at this. We already looked at it. But they are the oats. They are the oats. The other side there. You can see them. That's it. That's what it's all about. Just that there. Yeah. So. Before I forget to say it, thanks again to Mike Fitzmaurice for leaving me make the video and his Reaper and Binder. Mike is a, I suppose you call him a legend of the Vintage Society. Mike is involved there big time with the, I think he's involved with the Kilflin Vintage Club. 
and Dinny Rail there. Dinny Rail is involved with the, the Morris Collins Vintage Club, which is an art fair every year. Here they come again. I'm going to go over this side here now, and you'll see the you'll see the the canvas. You'll see the canvas working there when Mike will engage it now shortly. Watch Mike up in the back. Hopefully he won't engage it. He's just here. And he'll engage the gear drive that's driving the canvas. Of course, everything, like I said, it's all ground driven. It would have been pulled by horses. And you'll see the canvas, one of them, it'll take the... Watch, him. Watch Mike's hands now. He'll just engage it here now. So, yeah. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Unbelievable piece of kit. Nearly there, last corner of the field. Of turning is so much easier too than turning a team of horses. You can see all the mechanism going there. Hey guys enjoy the rest of the video give a like give a subscribe give it us a thumbs up and we'll try and stay at it and we don't know where we're going we're getting there I need a few more views and a few more subscribers but I should have mentioned it at the start if you want to win this yes that JCB 